Hi, I'm Adam Mendoza. Welcome to the 2018 Ohio Athletic Conference Football Preview. I'd like to welcome Coach Rick Fanati in his second year over at John Carroll University. Last year, 6-4, and four, expectations as you start year two. No longer a rookie among OAC coaches. Wait, I think, you know, this is my second time taking over a program. So that year two is really the year where you're just so busy. Your goals aren't so lofty. All it is is about just, you know, you get humbled that first year. And then the second year is all about identifying your players, what you do well, and making sure that you get a, a habit and a daily routine to be successful, whether that's game week, you know, camp day, like whatever it takes, that individual session, just having great focus little by little. You can't get too distracted by looking too far in advance. The defense was tough last year. Some of the key players will return. Talk about some of those players that uh, you're expecting some, some high expectations and really good things out of them this year. Well, you know, I think you could just lump in the entire defensive line, whoever's in there, whoever four are called upon at that time. That, you know, we're looking for those guys to have great uh, uh, you know, a great contribution to the game, great energy. You know, they're the ones that are going to set the tone and discipline and, and, and uh, you know, being where they need to be and be counted on. I mean, that's that's what veterans do. That's what good players do. They relied upon and, and they set the tone in terms of work, uh, production, and that. Talk about the offensive side of the football. That makes uh, the, the, that team go. Uh, what are you expecting to see on the offensive side of the football? Well, well the one thing, inv advance the run game. You know, I think sometimes it's stalled in some games, and, and so you know we, we got some ideas and some plans and, and some people, quite frankly, to, to be able to do that. You know, and, and we played three freshman offensive linemen last year, and, and uh, not one senior. So you know, with that comes time. That veteran, those guys. Now you're not freshmen anymore. You're veterans. So uh, we classify them as such, and so we're really excited about their development. And, and uh, you know, just uh, you, when you get around people, there's a little bit more familiarity. And, and, and I'm a field guy, and, and I, I like to really. I think. We made some key moves in some, some different positions and, and added just the right amount of people to, to maximize everybody's talent on that field. When you get ready for games in the OAC week after week, how tough is preparing for it? You've seen it on the high school level. You've right. seen it you know, as, as a coach in all your career of playing top-notch talent. Now on the Division three level at the OAC, how tough is it preparing week after week against some of the top teams in the in the conference and in the country? It's a little bit more like that because your week one's a playoff game, you know. And, and as at Michigan, you know, you know, you got your games, and, and you know, the Big Ten isn't uh, as talented in terms of uh, team to team. You had your couple that were really high, and some in the middle, and some on the bottom. But with us, every week, everybody's tough, you know. And, and you're playing ten weeks in a row. And it's playoff football right away. Nobody's guaranteed anything. And then you never want to leave it in a voter's hands to determine your success going into the, you know, into the offseason. So our goal is to get to the offseason and, and whatever it takes. You know, if we got to go undefeated, that's, we got to do whatever it takes. You know, and we'll go 1-0 and every week. All right, Coach, good luck this year. And Thank you. Congratulations on Thanks, getting to that second year. We'll yeah. see you soon. Yeah, good seeing you. Well, we are now joined by running back Sam, uh, Sam Kakura from John Carroll. Thank you for joining us as we get ready for the start of the season. Expectations as you, you get ready. Uh, thanks for having me, by the way. But expectations is always, as everyone is, is to win games. But after this offseason, the way we've had it, how experienced we have in the, a lot of the rooms as quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and the offensive side of the ball. And then on the defense, we have our whole defensive line coming back. Uh, we're really excited that we have a lot of depth and a lot of experience to bring to this team. You, you talk about that experience and a good chunk of the offense is coming back. How does that consistency help as you prepare for the upcoming season? Uh, it's awesome because we can uh, bring a lot of players along with us. Uh, as Meglin says all the time, is lead by example. Uh, show the young kids how to do it the right way. So when something happens, you never know, freak accidents, that the next guy's ready to step up. And as Coach Fanati, it's next man up always. Now, you just talked a little bit about senior leadership, and, and that's really an important thing on any football team. How important is it for you as a, a senior leader on this team, not only with the other seniors on the ball club, but really to bring up the freshmen, the sophomores, and the juniors up to speed? Oh, it's very important. Uh, I take great pride in bringing along younger players because I feel like once I'm gone, we're leaving our legacy and everyone that we came in with, we're leaving it on their shoulders. So if we can prepare them the right way and the way that we believe is done, uh, that they'll be off on the right step. Well, we want to thank you for joining us and good luck on the upcoming season. Thank you very much. Thank and you. for more information about John Carroll football or any other team in the OAC, you can go to oac.org. I'm Adam Mendoza. Thanks for watching.